Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, here we are, um, December 8th, and first week in December is almost over, and uh, I hope you are doing well, and you are healthy, and for those of you who are struggling or have someone who is not, may you create this beautiful, invisible bubble and surround yourself with this white light and bubble of protection. So today we're going to be talking about abilities, disabilities, labels, but before I go further, if you have been following me every single day, I come live for this holiday challenge and I come live uh, with an inspiration, affirmation or a dancation uh, in order to bring a little bit of a joy into your life. And for all of us, uh, with that, I'd like you to make a comment and share the post or share something of your own and sign up by texting gift me to 818-221-2797 and get on a list, a pool of names that we are already accumulating. Everyone is participating. And thank you for those who are participating because come Christmas Day, I'm going to draw a name and gift someone something absolutely wonderful. Now, today's program, He'll Talk Tuesday. I'm going to be talking about something a little bit more healing. And what do I mean by healing? Is, you know, as a clinical hypnotherapist working for over 20 years in this mind body connection, I like to say transformation happens when we make that choice. From the moment you choose, and you're open to it, transformation can happen. Sometimes when you go into hypnotherapy and you do the hypnosis or meditation or anything, remember that seed is already planted, either with the word, with the affirmation, with the changes that you want to make. And transformation may not happen instantly, although sometimes it does, but it happens in a very deep deeper level within the subconscious mind. You see, our mind is in two parts, conscious and subconscious. So consciously we look, listen, and learn. And our subconscious mind also has three functions, which is it stores all the information of what you look, listened, and learned. Secondly, it regulates your entire auto, uh, auto system in your body, automated, regulated, so we don't think about what's, uh, what our organs are doing and everything. That's all done subconsciously, automatically. And the third thing that it does, it also recalls things from way past. So there's times that I've done hypnotherapy on a client and they've got all the way to time of birth. It can happen, actually. It's also a, another modality, a technique called rebirthing, so we can do that kind of a process. Now, those are all techniques. What happens is I guide you into a different state of being. And tapping into your subconscious mind where all the information is there for you to make the changes. Now, once the seed is planted, let's say for smoking, and someone comes in and wants to stop smoking, and in our first session, we begin planting all the suggestions to become a non-smoker, not quit smoking, to become a non-smoker. Or when someone comes in with insomnia and they say, uh, I want to sleep better, in hypnosis when we take them into that deep and profound state asking the subconscious mind that from the moment they lay down 
and their head hits the pillow, automatically they are ready to drift into that state of profound relaxation and then drift into sleep state. Now, it may not happen the second day, but it may a week ago, a week later. So it can happen gradually. For those who come for the magic to happen, I want you to know sometimes magic happens in the first few sessions, like one of my clients who stopped smoking in her second session for good after smoking a pack and a half to two packs a day to a zero in second sessions. Yes. So it's your readiness for any change. We do our work. You have to do your work, right? Now, the reason I'm bringing all this is, first of all, thank you for being here. And if you have any questions, if you have any uh, suggestions, I would like to hear from you. If there is any question, if there is something that you would like me to answer, you need help with, by all means, place it in the comments. As a matter of fact, I look forward to responding to any of the comments. Secondly, disability. I've shared this many times. I, um, it's not that I am dyslexic, but I have a dyslexia. And dyslexia is uh, a form that our mind reads things backwards or faster and the opposite way, right? So when that happens is I someone recommended me to play a game, to download an app and play a game which was all word search and words because I'm all about words. Words have profound meaning and uh, emphasis in our mind. So because I'm a word person, I started playing this game. And sometimes the words are backwards and I can see it much faster. And I learned that my disability may be one of my strongest abilities in certain times, in certain areas. But when I was a paralegal and I used to, at that time when we had DOS and I was using Dictaphone, some people don't even know what that is. I used to make a lot of mistakes and oh my God, white out was one of my best friends and I had to white out a lot. We didn't have Grammarly then. We didn't have all the tools and the techniques that is so available for us now, but it challenged me to read and reread things, to become more uh, specific to become more focused. And by doing so, it helped me become better in English. It be, uh, I became better in dictation. So those are the things that, although I call it a disability, it helped me feel more able and focused and better in words in not only utilizing the words, enunciating the words, but how we utilize words in communication. And years later, working as a hypnotherapist, of course, words do matter. As a matter of fact, yes, as children, they say, oh, it's okay. It's just a word. No, words truly can hurt. We know that for a lot of us who felt as if we have been bullied and everything by what it said, even family members. I have a client, he's early 20s, and yes, going through some disabilities, but understanding that what the family members say, it affects children, it affects teens, it affects every single one of us and it's not only as children but how as adults we can be hurtful to one another 
So be aware of what you say. Now, I want to ask you, what are the disabilities that you have and challenges that you've had that you have made those into your abilities? So go ahead and close your eyes and just sit back for a moment. Breathe in and out and recognize as if doing this like a scan in mind, in body, in emotions, things that you thought you cannot or someone told you it is wrong or you're not supposed to do it that way. What if you were to recognize some of them, maybe not all, have been your strengths, but you have not honed your strengths to be a stronger way for you to communicate or do things. I think everything about us, every habit, every behavior can be modified. Because whatever habit you have, it's there. You took it upon yourself to make your life or something about you to make you feel good or make your life easier, more comfortable, being in that comfort zone, right? Until you realize your comfort zone is no longer comfortable. So we take every single challenge and we see how we can mold it, turn it, shift it. Yes, through hypnotherapy, tapping into the cause of what you thought it's negative and turn it into something better and stronger or eliminate it. And delete, delete, delete. You don't like it, delete it. You don't like it, get, get rid of it. And remembering that no matter what, no one can do this for you until you say so. So today I woke up with my neck in knots. Being a mind-body connection therapist and working with mind-body, this is how I got into hypnotherapy when I healed my ovarian cyst through uh, hypnotherapy. And that was 21 years ago, never looked back. I started doing the same dialogue, my neck. So the neck shifts and turns, right? So then I started thinking, what is it happening in my life that I am not shifting, turning to look at another side? Who's a problem in my neck? Who is like a, uh, you know how we say, I have a stiff neck, but what I'm, stiff in body, what if I turn to look and say, am I being stiff on something and I'm not giving up and letting go? I'm not shifting and turning my head to see the other side. And by doing so, I started thinking what's happening in my life. So it took me away from my physical pain to now solving a problem, right? It's just a small little shift from my physical pain to what other pains are in my life. A pain in my neck? Who's a pain in my neck? What was a pain in my neck? What is it that I'm not shifting? You can do the same dialogues with yourself. And then by doing so, my mind went into, oh, there was this problem. There was this challenge. This is what happened two days ago. This is the email I received. Oh, my God. I didn't realize I was overwhelmed by one email that had come, a message that something occurred a long time ago, and they wanted to have it fixed right away. And I'm like, that was two years ago. How do I fix it today? So it's mulling. My body is doing the work. I'm doing the work. 
consciously, subconsciously. So your body and physically, mentally, emotionally, in, uh, personally, professionally, everything comes and becomes this conglomerate of a stiffness until I had to undo the puzzle. Undo. It's like, okay, I dealt with that one. I did this one. I that one. Ah, this was still remaining. How do I deal with this one situation? So by coping with it, it's like coming out of the maze and unraveling what was, I found the solution. I responded to email and it was a win-win situation. And instead of feeling more anxious, more overwhelmed, guess what? I can turn my neck. I can turn my body. I can move easily, effortlessly now. And so can you. So that's what I do. Sometimes when a client comes in and they can't see beyond right here, and they come with words of, I can't, I am having a panic and anxiety. I am overwhelmed, over exhausted. After calming my clients, and it can be you or someone you know, I easily guide our mind to begin unraveling. You see, your mind can do the same. Mine does it faster because I've been doing this for so long. If I can hypnotize myself and have a root canal with no anesthesia, thanks to hypnosis and self-hypnosis, tools and techniques, I can do the same thing for you and teach you and guide you how to do it on your own. And for that, it needs you to say yes, yes to you. And the simple techniques that I use is how to evoke what was. That means it's a part of your history. History is not happening right now, but it is history. So let's go back to the history and evoke what, evoke what was, embrace what is, which is the reality. Why is my body going through? Why am, uh, am I stiff in my neck? Why is this challenge coming into my life? And instead of saying, I give up, we deal with it so that we can evolve to what will be. You know why? Because you do matter. What you feel matters. What you think matters. You matter. So if you have any thoughts, any questions, by all means, share it. And be part of my daily inspiration, affirmation, dancation. Do your own. Share it. Comment. Let's take part. Let's pray, take part. And during this time of COVID, when the alert comes, especially in California, we just got alerted and saying, do not go out. Let's bring a little bit, this minuscule, minuscule, not mono, minuscule of a little bit joy and inspiration to one another. And I hope you give me the opportunity to help you do the same. So remember, every disability can become an ability for you. You have the power within you to heal within. So it takes one thought. By the time that you say yes and the seed is planted, everything starts moving. My name is Lisa. I'm your expert hypnotherapist, helping you to transform from where you are, from pain to gain. Until next week, God bless you, and may the universal light 
surround you. See you next week. And don't forget, text gift me to 818-221-2797. And I look forward to participate and share your thoughts. See you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.